Hey everyone, welcome to From the Depths, I'm Menti, and this is episode 72 of the Battleship Brawl Season 5 Tournament. This episode we've got the Hone Star, the 4-hour Eurobeat speed build by Cheese Cannon. Going up against the Durotstein by Max the Flying Cat. We'll go ahead and get the camera in position, and away we go. Oh, also, I forgot to mention it in the previous video, but the Tillman did retire, as you can tell, since it's not in this video, in its last fight, so, uh, I kind of forgot about that. I will have the poll set up for it, um, by the time this video is live, so make sure you head on over to the Discord to cast your votes. Both ships launching pretty substantial volleys at one another. Games are running a little on the slow side. Oh, the road side is leaning heavily. Taking that much damage. It's already listing. It's kind of listing to the opposite side you'd expect it to. Where the damage is. The recoil of the gun is that powerful? Is she going down already? HP wise, both of the ships are pretty even still after the first minute of fighting. I know they're almost like I like equally well now the home star just lost two H two percent HP so it's still close but it isn't like perfectly even like it was I bet you one of the home stars guns got blown off that'll knock out a good chunk of HP it's, see the turret disintegrating right here yep exactly what happened Start down to 86%, Dorotstein 89%. <laughs> close and still, he's just speeding up a little bit, but uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> still feels like the game is running just a touch slow. slow motion going on. Eh, maybe it's going fine now. No. Oh, so that shell ricocheted off the turret and then detonated with the time fuse. And some of the Hone Star shells are detonating before they even hit anything or even get close to the ship. Like those ones, they're just kind of air bursting away from the ship. It's like, unfortunately, smoke screen that that kind of smoke screen anyway has zero effect. In this game. Steins down to 81.5. Hone star at 81.53. This is an extremely close match. The Stein did start with significantly more materials and has spent, you know, a lot more than the Hone Star has in repairs. So when the materials run out, I expect it will uh, start falling behind in HP.
Let's fly on over here and check out the Hone Star. Star has lost a pretty good chunk of its armament, but also still has a pretty good chunk left. <coughs> if it can hold on. Oh, the uh, Stein is getting DQ time. Is it out of range? It might be out of range. And the Hone Star's sailing towards it, so it isn't getting DQ time. Yeah, it's the Stein stopped gaining DQ time now. Now that the materials have run out, the Stein is falling behind in HP. It's still not that far of a match. It was a pretty close fight the entire round, and the Stein could still pull a comeback if it manages to knock out the uh, Hone Star's guns. But with them being a whole bunch of single turret guns, uh, single turret affairs spread out amongst the, uh, the kind of wide surface area of the, of the home star, it's going to be a little difficult to accomplish that, and I don't know where that gun is firing. It's just, uh... You should be firing in like the exact opposite, well not exact opposite, but the opposite frontal direction. Like, you're, you're firing over here, you want to go over there, over, over there. <laughs> or you know, you could just continue to be useless. Oh yeah, I forgot about these little guys, little... Uh, gunner dudes manning the guns. It's a neat little touch. Stein down to 62.4% mint. The Hone Star has some pretty unfortunate fusing issues. that one gun wasn't still shooting shells at a target that doesn't exist. And the Home Star used uh, inertial instead of timed fuses. It would have probably taken the Stein down a little bit faster and thus ended the match with a bit more HP. But it is uh, definitely looking like it's going to win at this point. Yep, there is the two damaged. Is the Stein going to get a final volley off, or is that it? Well, there's one shell. And that one shell is the last thing, so we're going to let that hit. Or miss. going to let it run its course. There we are. That is the end of the round. 67.3% for the Hone Star. Alright, here we go. I don't know why I tabbed back to that. My fingers are just like, hey, you should alt tab right now. Stupid fingers. <laughs> hey, now my alt key was... Deciding to be pushed when I was not pushing it. All kinds of great things happening today. Alright, here we go. Round two underway. Looks like that.
that initial volley from the home star. It's landing pretty solidly home, except for the ones that are detonating early. But the, uh, the Stein did not have an equal amount of success with its first volley. All kinds of explosions. Big old shells landing in the center of the home star, or the Stein, I mean. Wow, ripping it down to 93% already. This is completely different from the first round. Hey, doggy. Be quiet. Record. Man, I would hate to be a sailor on the Stein just because it's it's constantly tilting. Like that would be really awful, especially if you had a bunk that was on the left side and opened to the right, so you would be constantly fighting against getting dumped out of your own bed. <laughs> oh, that would be awful. <laughs> This time, Home Star's not taking any prisoners. It's at 92%, while the Stein's at 83%. Significantly more damage being done to the Stein this time. This, the Stein this time around. And it's not like gun damage either, it's just... It's, it's that. That. That hole right there. That massive friggin' hole. Like, half the ship is missing in that area. That would be why this Stein is missing a ton of HP. Well, there is an exposed bit of a uh, turret there, and it looks like... What the heck? Looks like some of it has been hit. One of those guns may be weakened and or disabled. No, they both fired. So one of them is definitely weakened though, because it took some damage. And any other shells that land in that area are gonna rip that gun to pieces. Meanwhile, Homestar looking pretty fine, or honestly. Got some holes over here. You know, a couple holes here and there. It's probably a destroyed gun somewhere. Yeah, there's one here. Knocked out, but that's about it. Home Star is doing pretty, pretty all right. Oh, Stein is not. Stein has gone dead in the water and is uh, listing the other direction now, sinking almost. Yeah, if it gets much lower, it's gonna get an 80% sinking despawn. It's gonna happen. Any, there it is. Called it. this ship that's missing like holy crap <laughs> all right 89.4 in round two for the uh, hone star go ahead and get this restarted we're going to round three see if the hone star can score better than that or maybe the uh, Stein can find an extra gear it hasn't been using and win itself around. Alright, let's go ahead and get this underway. Because that first round was close enough that if it had gone slightly differently, the Stein could have won it. But then that second round was all Hone Star. <laughs> Don't know what the difference was. Maybe the Hone Star just landed more shots. more shots in weaker areas because it did blow a gigantic hole in the midships of the uh the stein is the stein in the water already no i thought for a moment it had, had its propellers destroyed but no it's just oh it's turning basically opposite the direction of the recoil of its guns so it's kind of it's almost doing a pivot turn via gun <laughs> That's kind of funny. 
Oh, this match, again, both ships at about the same HP. Just shell after shell after high explosive shell slamming into the rear part of the ship here. It's just not taking the same kind of damage that the middle does. I mean, it's taking damage, don't get me wrong. But compared to the, uh, the massive holes that got blown into the stein over here in the center, I mean, see, just after that one volley, there's significantly more damage here. Probably because it doesn't have all this heavy armor brick for the turret, you know, absorbing damage. The stein is like, is that like almost a 45 degree angle. It's not 45, it's pretty dang close. Like, this would be an absolutely awful ship to be a crew member on. <laughs> oh, looks like this turret got popped this time. Yep, the explosion managed to get in through the underside. I know that pain. That happens. That happened a lot to bring Tillman. Oh, Stein is acting in serious danger. Getting blown in, like a third of its bow blown off. Maybe a bit more than a third, like 40% of the ship could fall off if this, if this area gets broken. Yeah, the first round was really close up until like the five minute mark. Then. The Stein repairs ran out, and the, the uh, Home Star took over. Round two was all Home Star. Round three was more, like more Home Star. There is so there are so many spots right now that are really weak. They break. Basically, if anything on this this uh, side of the hull breaks through completely, part of the ship is going to fall off. Is this? No, that this this part right here is not actually connected. To it's really close, but not connected. Oh man, I just got a shot to the face because it's it's not a battleship brawl without me taking a cram shell to the face. Oh, it looks like the the uh, Stein did get. The uh, outer hull here repaired some, so it's not as in danger of falling apart now. And again, those shells are digging in through the underside, and there was a bit of exposed turret there. A few more shells landing in that area, and that turtle. That turtle being blown to bits. I've been spending a lot of time on the Stein. Let's go take a look at it. See how the home stars doing? Oh, it just bounced the shells, so that's, you know. Something you always want to see is the person who created the ship, is shells bouncing off your, uh, bouncing off your hull without doing any damage. Yeah, the Home Star is pretty similar in design to the Prince of Persia, but I think it's a bit uh, taller, and you know it's obviously not using mortars. Stein is out of materials and 12% HP behind. And I'm not looking good for it. Ooh, that shell just blew a big old chunk of hull off. Man, the, the 
Stein is just a burned out wreck at this point. Oh man. That's crazy. So it looks like the end of this video is uh, close in sight. So I just want to say again, remind everybody, make sure you head on over to the Discord to vote for uh, vote for the Tillman. I'll have that up before the uh, before this video is live, most likely. And uh, yeah, there goes the Stein. It is now two damaged, and it doesn't really matter what the Hone Star has for HP because it's going to get more points. So yeah, thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you on the battlefield.